until we get to the other one. <laughs> remember, do you remember that last year? It's all silly. Yeah? Open it a little bit more. We gotta, we have to pull all the stuff out of the inside. Yeah, you. It's silly. <laughs> <laughs> Is it slimy? Which one? You get yell me. I think this one's the tallest one. She looks taller to me. What do you think? 
Yeah. Which one's the baby? It. That one? Is she singing her to sleep? Because oh, she's too little. She's too little? Look. Oh, my. What is she singing to her? I don't know. Oh. I mean, you do it? Yeah, I do want to hear Under it. Under a bedroom door? Oh, yeah. Four. How about you give her? You have five. Let her have one, and then you can get the other ones to sleep. Okay. Oh look. Are you trying to share? Thank you. Excuse me, guys. makes my pants look really, really big. Can I put them down with that long? No, because we're cleaning up right now. What? I would, I do want to jump down. Hey! No, don't get in my drawer. You have to pick up Mr. Potato Head and all the kitchen stuff. Hey, I'm trying to clean you up, ma'am. You stop that. You know, you do know how to clean up. I do know how to clean up, but you're the mommy, you said. Olivia, can you turn the light back on, please? I'm trying to see where all this rice is from dinner. Hey, what is your deal? Juliana. <laughs> Hi. Well, finishing up the night. It is about 10 to 8. And it was a good day. Um, today is the 12th, I think. I should know this because I'm writing it every day I upload videos but I can't seem to remember what day it is I think it's the 12th um, Monday and everything was good today except for the end of the day and that's always a tough time um, I have such a hard time figuring out how to get both girls to bed at a good time without a lot of chaos and sadly what ends up happening most of the time is I get Olivia to bed first, who's the older one, and then I get Juliana down um, because Juliana only sleeps usually the first time maybe 20 or 30 minutes and then she's awake and if she wakes up while I'm in the middle of getting Olivia down to bed, it's it just, the whole thing just starts all over again. So I'm trying to find a good way to start basically from after Olivia's nap where she wakes up usually, today was early, 2.15, she woke up from her nap. Usually she wakes up um, at like 3-ish, um, but not today. And so, anyway, from like 3 on, just figuring out how to get things planned out that I can get them either a lunch or a snack at that point, um, play for a while, get dinner ready, and then it's the di timing for dinner that I can't figure out when to serve dinner and what to do after that the bedtime routine and who to start with and I think Juliana should be asleep by 6 30 um, you know she's only nine months old and 12 hours prior is usually what is recommended um, but we were eating dinner at 6 and just in the last couple weeks I've tried bumping it up to 5 30 to see if that helps but I still can't get her to bed because then I have Olivia I'm trying to figure out what to do with her. And she can entertain herself for a while. She can do pretty good with that for, for a little bit. Um, 
but you know she's two I, she's almost three but it's still it's hard for her to just sit around by herself and juliana doesn't just go to sleep i either have to nurse her rock her bounce her and i know that's another well for some people it's an issue it's hard i'm not gonna let her cry it out she can cry that's a whole other thing anyway it takes a long time to get her to sleep and so olivia is forced to be out here and like tonight she came in the room two times I had the door open for her so she could see me and I could see her but she you know gets lonely and wants it's bedtime and so she wants to start her process and twice it woke up Juliana right as I was getting her to sleep so then I had to just get Juliana up and read Olivia her book brush her teeth um, get her jammies on her night diaper all that stuff with Olivia or Juliana awake so um, Juliana's asleep now. I just laid her down, so I have about 20 minutes to finish this, upload it all, start editing, she'll wake up, I'll have to run back in there. Um, and it's just kind of how the night goes, but, um, trying to figure out how to get them down. And I did try TV for a little while. I'm not a fan of plopping a child in front of a television. As a babysitter, I do not like it. I'll do it sometimes for dinner, and it's specific things that are okay I think to watch and it's in moderation but um, for a week about I did it about seven days maybe six days I tried getting Juliana to bed first I put on Daniel Tiger or Sesame Street or Curious George for Olivia those are her three options um, and after about four or five days we could tell a difference she was moody she was emotional she had a hard time going to sleep and staying asleep. Um, those were the nights Dustin told me she woke up several times and I, I started stopping it, you know, just a few days ago and it already has gotten better. So I truly believe that at least my child doesn't do well with watching even, you know, 30 minutes of television right before bed while I'm getting Juliana to sleep. And I've read that especially before bed, that's bad, but that's like the only thing that will actually hold her attention and I'm not okay with just doing that and then having the whole day kind of be a shit show because I let her watch TV all week or two weeks or three, you know, however long it ends up being. <sighs> I need advice, help somebody, something. There has, there's billions of people on the planet with two children, three children, six children, eight children. That's a lot of kids. I couldn't handle eight kids. <laughs> Unless they all put themselves asleep and stayed asleep all night long, which mine don't. Um, so if you have any advice, I'm all ears. Most of you I talk to on Facebook anyway, and um, you give some good advice. I just haven't been able to figure out a flow that works. You know, I think if I could figure out what time to serve dinner and start from there, it would work. Olivia needs to be in bed by, say, 7.30, 8 o'clock, um, with Juliana needing to be asleep by 6.30 to 7. And, you know, it just kind of scrunches it all together. And at nights I'm here, um, I do it on my own at nighttime, so I just need to figure out something. But other than that, today was nice. Um, it was an easy day. We just kind of hung out and played. What did we do this morning? Oh yeah, we carved a pumpkin. I forgot, it's on the front porch, it's very cute. Olivia drew um, the face on the pumpkin and then I hacked it out. I would say carved, but I feel like I was hacking it up. Um, and we're going to go again to another pumpkin patch on Thursday. This one's Anderson Farms, and it's really huge. It's really cool. The one we went to I had in the uh, video yesterday. It's a smaller one. But um, I didn't even do makeup or anything today. My hair has been in the same bun all day long. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Any advice on getting two kids to sleep at a reasonable hour? I'm all ears. And see you tomorrow. Bye.